Alright, this video is for my students. I'm going over how to do the IKFK blend. So, first off, I'm going to create a basic arm. Let's go to the top view. There we go. Animation joint tool. I'm going to set my tool real quick. I'll use, use XYZ. Uh, turn off scale compensate. Here we go. So, here's the clavicle. Uh, the joint size is a bit small, so I'm going to change my joint size a bit larger now. Alright. Clavicle. Shoulder. Let's call this the wrist. I just want to move certain things. Let's move this arm up. Skeleton, insert joint tool, insert the elbow joint, and move it, holding down D, move it back. Alright, let's say this is your arm. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate this. Actually, I want to rename it before I duplicate. This way, it'll be a uh, a bit easier to name at the end. So, all right. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this joint. I'm going to duplicate this, one across, another one over here. I'll keep the one in the middle as the IK, let's put IK in front of it, I'll call this one the FK shoulder. So make everything here FK. Let's remove that one at the end. This will be my reel. Remove the two in the back of this one. This will be the one that will ultimately have the hand. So, essentially, I if I wanted to, I can connect from this point and down. But I want to make sure it matches up with the whatever hand I have here in the end. So, I'm gonna go through and add the IKs. So here's the IK. I'll rename this IK handle to. Um, arm IK. We'll put a left in front of that. At this point, if you wanted to make two arms, you would just duplicate this. So, for example, I would just go. Actually, you would mirror this right now. Joint right there. Left, right. And you would just have that set up. Um, the same idea goes for both of them, so I'll just focus on one of them, and you'll be able to figure out how to do the other side. Alright, now that we have this, I'm going to create some controllers. Um, so I'm going to source a script real quick. Here it is. And go to Prism. I need Cube. This Cube will be my IK uh, risk controller. Freeze transforms. I'm going to select my Cube. Shift select my IK handle. Strain point. I'm going to reset my settings. I'm going to hit apply. 
this will now be my wrist controller, basically controlling my IK. I'll rename this to left arm IK con. The next thing I'm going to do is going to create myself a uh, elbow controller. So here's a pyramid. Holding down V so I can snap exactly to where the elbow is at. I'm going to turn this at negative 90. Okay, let's move it back. Modify freeze transforms. Now with this selected, I'm going to shift select the IK handle. Currently it's kind of hard to see it, so I'm going to animation. Uh, IK handle size. I'm going to make this a bit larger just so all of you can see. So I'm going to take this controller, shift click the IK handle, strain, pull vector. Even though you did it right if you see a little line connecting it, this will control the rotation of the elbow. I'll rename this to left arm pull con. And at this point, I'm going to start doing all my other constraints. I'm going to select the FK, the IK, then the real, do it straight, orient. I'm going to reset my settings, apply. I'm going to do the same with the elbow section, apply. This allows me to do is essentially when I move all this around, the other arm just moves right in between. And notice when I select on this arm right here, that you see underneath the uh, shapes, there's two constraints. You can change them on and off. So with that, I'm going to select both of these. Like each one at a time, I'm going to hold V, snap them back to the original location. At this point, you can really see how it blends right in between. All right, now I'm going to create the FK arm controls. So let's pop the script back open again. Prisms, I'm going to use a hexagon. So here's a little hexagon. First things first, I'm just going to press Control G. So now I've grouped it essentially. And I'm just using its group and I'm going to move it. Our front view. I'll line this up, right up to it. 